There is a big difference between the irresistible impulse versus the impulse not resisted. That's what you have to ask yourself. That's the difference between addiction and choice. Are you dealing with an irresistible impulse or is this an impulse not resisted? It's an irresistible impulse. I mean, I, I, there have been times I just, I wake up and it's just almost like talking to me, get out of the house, go do it. And I, I'm like a zombie, I can't get away from it. I've tried so many times. I've driven 60 miles to go and then turned around and came back and then actually ended up turning around and going back. So you know, left to your own devices, no matter what you say, we put you in the wild, you're, you're gonna find a way to do it. That's what happens. I was in the wild last night. I was by myself last night and I found a way. I don't know why you gamble. I feel like I know how to stop it. Oftentimes, maladaptive behavior begins for one reason and continues for a whole separate set of reasons. We do know there's an anxiety issue involved. You, you're kind of looking for that next high. It can get to become a, a, a coping skill, both emotionally and neurologically. Your brain can get to the point that it takes something like that for arousal or you're really stuck in kind of a dark loop where it's just nothing gets you going. And that's going to require an intervention at a neurological level and it's going to require an intervention at an emotional level. You can white knuckle it for a period of time, but your brain will take you back there. That has to be dealt with. 